Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a pretty cool video. I'm going to be showing you my first ever in-home hair dye where I dye my own hair. I have never really bothered to dye my own hair because I always feel like I would screw it up. So I heard about this company eSalon recently through my friend Sarah's video. I'll link it below and she included a 50% off link which I'm also going to put below because it saved me a lot of money and I just thought the idea was really cool and I recently got my hair cut super short and I was kind of like I don't really want to spend like a hundred dollars to like get somebody to dye my hair for me when I could just do this myself because I have like three hairs on my head. So a little bit about the brand eSalon. They're a custom hair color company, kind of like a subscription box but for your hair and it's not necessarily monthly, it's whenever you want to get your hair dyed again and they'll send it to you and it costs $19.95 every time you purchase it. But for the first time since I had the 50% off code, it cost me about $15.95 with shipping so that's a really great deal for custom hair color. Basically, you get to choose your hair color from, you know, telling them what your natural hair is to the kind of color that you want. They have a lot of choices. You can submit a picture of your hair and the stylists there will just kind of custom mix and choose what will look best for you if you want to cover your grays, which is what I wanted to do, then you'll use a more permanent hair color than a semi-permanent. And I just think that it's done really well and very thoroughly. You can even send a current recent picture of your hair to them to kind of help analyze your hair length and stuff like that. So whenever I received the box in the mail, which I honestly got within like two days, but it definitely helps that I live in the same city that they're based in, which is LA. So I got this box and it had a couple of different bottles. It had the developers and a hair dye and a hair gloss. So the hair dye was for my you know, roots, for my grays, and the hair gloss was for my ends. But because my hair is so short, I didn't have to use the entire bottles. So it was kind of uh, a learning experience for me in trial and error to decide and you know when to stop putting more and more hair dye into my hair. And overall the process was pretty easy. They have you section your hair, which for me wasn't really helpful. I kind of just went to town on my hair and it turned out fine. So. It's not the cleanest, but it did do the job and I think it looks good and all my grays are covered and that's pretty much what exactly what I wanted. It's definitely basically the same hair color that I already have, but a little bit darker and it's kind of golden in the um, sunlight. And the color that I got exactly, if you're interested, is called Darkest Brown Natural Golden. So now I'm going to show you the actual process of me dyeing my hair so you can see what it looked like and kind of what a mess I was because I was a total newbie. I would consider myself a beauty expert, but in that case, I was a newbie.
So that's how I dyed my hair with Isalon. This is not sponsored or I didn't I didn't even get this scent for free. I just kind of saw it in a video and thought it was cool and thought I would try it out and I really recommend it. If you guys have any tips for how I can dye my hair better next time, I would love to hear those in the comments and maybe tell me about your first hair dyeing experience or if you haven't dyed your hair, what color would you dye it? So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me dye my hair for the first time. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you guys next Friday for my next video. Bye.